Welcome back to Tuesday, you've made it this far. Right, so Ash is off, he's at the dentist today getting all his gnashes taken out or God knows what they do there. So it's just me and little Jack. <laughs> little Jack is back. I slipped up yesterday when we was doing the cricket and mentioned him by name so we might as well reveal it but life has uh, gone on. Jack is back, he's going to be on the right doing all of the small areas and I am out on the new mower. So let's show you the new mower then. Meet our new Toro LT3340 and it's an out front cylinder machine that we're going to be using for sports pitches and tight stadium pitches and we're hoping it's going to be another brilliant tool for our armoury. So as I said we've purchased this for kind of high quality stadium pitches, stuff where there's not good access for the tractor so we can still give a brilliant finish on sports pitches and not have to worry about carting the tractor over everywhere. Mega happy with the purchase, we've already had it out. As I said I know it's not new but sometimes you've got to test the waters with used kit in order to see if it's going to make you money and we got this for an absolute bargain. If you can guess in the comments how much we paid for it I will be surprised but anyway I'm going to fire it up now we've got two sports pitches to get done here today because it's just me and Jack we've not got the tractor today. So I got a little bit carried away and started the pitches without doing any filming but the Toro is doing fantastic leaving such a good finish really comfortable and really easy to use one thing I would say is the head seems to be bouncing quite a lot but I've read the manual and it looks like I need to adjust the weight transfer valve, which I'm about to do shortly. Anyway, whilst I'm having the best fun of my life ever on the pitches, Jack's doing all of the smaller areas all around the complex in order for me to carry on cutting the pitches. There we have it, it is looking phenomenal. Had to play about with a few settings on it, there's a weight transfer valve, so we're putting more weight on the gangs now, it just means that the head's not bouncing as much and it is cutting beautifully, and you can get a bit of a higher ground speed. Obviously, it's taken longer than the tractor, but just look at that, it is looking fantastic. Jack's just finishing up the strimming now, I've got to get the line marking sorted, so I'm gonna get the trike out, get it prepped, and get going with it. So I start getting the paint mixed up using the water butt and then I've just got two 11 v 11s that I get marked out whilst Jack's running around and finishing all of the little bits now. And cool, look at that. All sorted, just locking the gates and we'll head to the next one. So we're over at the next site and this is where me and Ash bought the Toro to test it on Friday. So we've already done all the pitches. I just need to do all of the outfield areas that haven't been done. So I start cracking on with it and the grass is fairly long here but the Toro is taking it in its stride. Luckily I think we've set it up absolutely perfectly, happy days. And the more and more I use this machine, the more and more I love it. It is such a great machine, I don't know why we've not gone for a system like this in the past sooner I guess. But anyway, yeah, we start cracking on with it, getting the stripes down everywhere off of the pitches and just getting used to the machine, it is so enjoyable. Once we've done all of the stripes, I'm just on the last stripe here, I can then set in a couple of boundary stripes just around the edge of the whole facility just to hide any marks where I've been turning. And now that's done, we can head to the next site. So we're over at the next site, got the Toro off, that's just warming up, Jack is on the right. We've got three football pitches to do, this is a training area. One's an elite level, it's already been cut, we've not got to worry about that, so yeah. Obviously on today's schedule we'd normally use the tractor, we're a little bit behind on time however it's going to be a given isn't it, we're using a machine that's less efficient but mega happy with the Toro, it's um, producing really high quality and it's a good backup for if the tractor is not ever broken or if we've got people off on holiday so yeah let's crack on with it. So we make a start cutting all of the areas around this facility and obviously making sure all the football pitches are lovely and striped up. And just finishing off the borders as well. 
I got a little bit ahead of myself and uh, didn't film a lot. I've done all the pitches now though, we've done three pitches. This thing is just really enjoyable to use, I can't lie. I've always thought I've been a rotary guy, but turns out I might be cylinder. Although it's taken a lot longer than the tractor, it is enjoyable on this, I can't lie. But anyway, I need to get the line marker out now and we need to get some pitches line marked on the ground and we've still got one site left. So I start off by marking the blue internal pitches and once that is done, I can then move on to the white. Got three of them done and that is all sorted here. We're all sorted and back at the unit. We were going to be going to another site, however, it started to rain. We checked weather forecast and it's meant to absolutely chuck it down till like midnight. So we're going to try and catch that one in the tractor tomorrow. I'm going to roll tomorrow, which is Wednesday, in with this video as well. So we'll see you in the morning. So it's now Wednesday morning and I start the day by fueling the tractor. The lads are already at site getting all of the kit off. Jack is on the right doing all of the smaller areas and Ash is heading to the field on the Hustler to do any areas that he knows the tractor cannot get to. So he makes a start with that but I turn up to site at this point and he is already at full chat getting all of those areas sorted on the Hustler. Now at this point I've pretty much sorted my boundary so I can start laying down those stripes. But we're all just ploughing through it with all of our little jobs and tasks in hand getting our way through the school. Now today we've not got to do any line marking which is nice so we can just concentrate on getting the field and all the grass areas absolutely perfect. And the sun is out, happy days. Right, the field is all sorted here and the lads are pretty much done as well, which is great news. And it's the same sketch here as well. We're changing to athletics line marking on the next visit. So we've not got to do any line marking so we can get in and out of here very quickly. We're now onto another sports ground. One of our regulars, lots of football pitches. Get the tractor over there. Let's get cutting. So as the boys finish up tidying at the school, I head over in the tractor to the next site. Soon as I'm there, I get the boundary sorted. You all know the score. And then once that's done, I can start off with my stripes. Now at this point, the lads have turned up, so they start getting all of their kit off and ready to go. And Ash starts off doing all of the, any boundary works that the tractor can't get on the Hustler. And Jack's running around doing all of the other areas on the right. But it feels good to have all three of us working as a well-oiled machine. The team is back and we're all just getting on with our tasks in hand, working around each other, getting it done ASAP. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've noticed today, but the sun is beaming and it is hot and the stripes are going down. Everyone is absolutely loving it. Let's just hope that it doesn't shift, shall we? But anyway, stripes for now, that's all we've got to worry about. And once we've started getting all of this site done, Ash is just gonna start the boundary on the other side. Right, that's the first big side done. We've done the best that we can with it. There's still a few areas off the pitches that are unmowable, just far too wet. But anyway, we've still got one more side to do here. Lads are cracking on really well with the strimming and all the smaller bits. And yeah, it's all coming together today. So because Ash has been an absolute legend and done a really big boundary on the Hustler for me, I can just start straight away with the stripes. But he's starting to mix up some paint so he can start line marking the other side and we're working like a well-oiled machine once again. So he's line marking this side and I'm cutting the other side trying to get this ready for him to line mark. Anyway, it's starting to all come together and it's looking fantastic. Oh, it's looking sensational. And we're cracking on really well today. We are ahead of time, which is good stuff. And we're gonna try and squeeze another sports facility into today. So yeah, working really well. Ash is just finishing off the line marking here, and then we can head over to the next site. When we get to the next site, I'm gonna start doing the field with the tractor and the boys are gonna run off to a quick residential. They'll have to dump the trailer there because there's limited access but I'll be there to make sure the trailer is safe. Anyway, let's get over there. So we're over at the next site and it's a little bit too touch and go. 
some of the areas are still mega wet here. I don't know why this site's not draining, but it's also not grown so much. So rather than risk it and ruin the pictures, we're just going to get them marked. Um, so yeah, it's the first failure due to water of the week. It did absolutely chuck it down last night. Anyway, Ash is going to get his bits done and then we'll go from there. Well, this weather definitely wasn't in the plan. What's this about? Right, we've got a break in the weather. Um, we've basically been running around trying to get into places and check to see if the ground's okay to mow. Uh, we had one successful one and we're now at a school. So, I'm just uh, literally fired the tractor up and waiting for the lads to get here and I'm just starting off with the boundary. And once the boundary's done, I can start laying down those stripes and trying to rattle through it before the rain comes again. But the lads are now here and they're doing all of their bits as well. And the sports field is now all sorted. The boys are still running around doing all of the smaller grassed areas. So yeah, it's been a bit of a roulette for the weather and what work we can get done for this video in the last two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. But it is what it is. Now there's a video on screen here if you want to continue watching the rest of the week to see if we can battle the rain. Click here now and we will see you in the next one.